Okay, this portion of the question is asking us to identify what the uh, total consumer surplus is uh, in the market and uh, calculate the surplus for individual buyers as well as figure out the producer surplus. So the first step here is to figure out how many diamonds are going to be sold. And we know that the, the optimal output rule tells us that marginal revenue has to equal marginal cost. And we know that the marginal cost for a diamond um, is $100. And so we need to figure out our total revenue and then calculate marginal revenue. So total revenue, if I sell zero diamonds, I'm making $0. If I sell one, they're selling for 400 If I sell two, they're 300 a piece, which means $600 in total revenue. If I sell three, they're 200 a piece, so 600 for total revenue. If I sell four, there's $400 in total revenue. And if I sell five, I have to charge nothing, so I get no revenue at all. So marginal revenue here is 400 200 0, and negative 200 so knowing that marginal cost is $100, the last place where marginal revenue is greater than or equal to marginal cost is at two diamonds. So the price that De Beers will charge is $300 because we go to the demand price for that quantity. So the price per diamond is equal to $300. Two are being sold. Um, Raquel is willing to pay $400 for a diamond. She only has to pay $300. So uh, Raquel's consumer surplus is equal to $100. She's willing to pay $100 more than she had to. And Jackie is willing to pay $300, and she gets to pay $300, so her consumer surplus is zero. So the total consumer surplus in this market is going to be $100, which is the sum of Raquel's surplus and Jackie's. When it comes to producer surplus, we know that De Beers is willing to sell them for $100. That's their marginal cost they get to charge 300 so there's $200 in producer surplus $200 per diamond times two diamonds that they sell means that producer surplus in this market is $400